Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Custom NHL Builds, the series where I build EASHL player builds based off of actual NHL players, and for my Maple Leafs fans out there, I'm going to do Mitch Marner this week, number 16. At only 21 years of age, he's already established himself as one of the elite players in this league, had 94 points in 82 games this year. As a 19-year-old rookie, had 61 points, definitely more of a playmaker. Um, I considered going with Dangler, but really Mitch Marner's deal is setting up his teammates. Also has great hands, though, so I went ahead with the playmaker build. He's 6 feet, 175 pounds, right-handed shooter. Went ahead with laser passing 2 there for the primary trait. As the secondary trait, I went with dirty dangles 2. Got the deking up to 86 there, passing at 95. And then I kind of struggled with what to do for the specialty. And I just ended up settling with toe drag deeks. I've never really used this uh, specialty before, so I kind of wanted to see what that was about. So anyway, when I went in and actually played with this build, um, I got to say it felt a lot like the Johnny Goudreau build, um, and uh, uh, if you go to my playlist for custom NHL builds, you can see that build there as well, but obviously a great skater, um, definitely bigger than jo Johnny Goudreau, not quite as fast, um, but he's got that great stop and start potential, so you can stop on a dime and then get going just as quick. It's great for shaking defensemen and opening up tiny pass lanes, which is great because that's all he needs. With that 95 passing, he just seems to be able to get passes through very small lanes that I wouldn't be able to get passes through with uh, with other builds. Also, with the Playmaker build and the passing rating that high, you get a thing called Auto Sauce. So a lot of times you'll get an auto assist. So when you make an R2 pass, the game will automatically sauce it for you which will help you get passes through uh, some of those tighter lanes. Also, obviously, uh, the deking is insane with this build. One of the best deking builds I've used. You almost never fail deeks. And the great thing about this build is you also don't really need a lot of speed to perform deeks successfully. So this allows you to do combinations back to back to back to shake multiple defensemen. So here you can see I'm pretty much stopped, and I shake all three defensemen just with one deke there. Um, so here, once again, have no speed. Most other builds would probably fail the deke in these situations, but this build has no problem with it. Um, makes it a great threes build when you got all that open ice. Um, I messed around with that toe drag deke specialty, and I gotta say, pretty underwhelmed with it. I was able to get a couple nice ones off. Um, I think it just helps when you're close to another player. Um, it helps you complete the deke successfully, as opposed to losing the puck. You, you pretty much never fail the toe drag, which is already a pretty successful deke anyway. It has a high success rate. So one thing you can do if you want is switch that specialty to uh, the loose puck deke specialty. And... That'll improve uh, a wider variety of deeks as opposed to just the toe drag. So that's something you can do um, if, if, you know, you want to have a little bigger bag of tricks there. The shot, uh, while not particularly impressive or accurate from distance, I, I got to say I was pretty surprised with. Uh, the Johnny Goudreau build had a pretty awful wrist shot, and... This build is definitely better. Um, in close, especially on that blocker side against computers, you seem to be actually able to finish your shots pretty well. And with your skating, uh, the speed, and your hands, you're able to get to those dangerous spots easier than most other classes would be able to. So if you can get to those spots and shoot blocker side, you seem to be able to finish those pretty well. Similar to the Johnny Goudreau build, uh, this build is easily injured. So 
in sixes, you can get bullied around a little bit, so just be careful. Use that passing um, when guys are coming at you for the hits. Uh, the one thing I will say is with the puck, this build is definitely a little stronger on the puck than that Johnny Goudreau build, so you're able to kind of fight off hits. Uh, definitely better than that build. Uh, all in all, I really like this build. Like I said, a little better for threes, but you can definitely play sixes with this build. He's a great skater, and like I said, he's able to get passes through those tiny pass lanes, um, which is definitely helpful for the sixes game mode. So anyway, guys, that's the Mitch Marner build. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.